been looking for you, Macy. Am I lost? I need to talk to you. Oof. Must be dreadfully serious for you to come all the way down to the pier in the fog to find me. How did you know I'd be here? I saw you leaving Johnny's just as I was pulling up. Ah, the plot thins. I've been thinking about you all day. Well, we have that in common. I've been thinking about me, too. You tell me your thoughts, I'll tell you mine. I've had what you might call mixed feelings. I was half hoping I'd run into you and half dreading it. Not a good plan to follow somebody that you dread running into. All right, what do you want to know? I want an honest answer to a straightforward question. Ah. I want to know the reason you married Victoria. The real reason, Mason. For a third. If you're furious with me for asking the question, I, I know I don't really have a place to ask it. No, so it's all right. It's all right. I know what you're worried about, Eve. You do? Of course. But think, Eden, would I allow a pretender to the throne to get my money and my good name? Give away my legacy to anything but the genuine article? You know me well enough to know I don't make random self-sacrifices. I sacrifice myself as little as possible. You know me, self-centered Mason. I'm not so sure that's who you are. But I know you so well. Really, I thought you could read me like a book. I wish I could. You're obvious sometimes, but not always. Mason, I love you. I want you to be happy. You can't want that half as much as I do. And tell me you are. Tell me you married Victoria because it's what you wanted. It was. And if there were any other reason, you'd tell me, even if it was painful for you to confide in me? Eden, you're battling straw men. I knew exactly what I was doing when I married Victoria. I may have my blind spots, but I'm smart enough to know that nothing good can come of a relationship that's built on a lie. 